Morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Professor Williams again, and this time we are going to do some probability featuring the matrix. A probability matrix is simply a grid that we create that we fill with the probabilities of all combinations of events to allow you to solve virtually any question you could be asked about that series of events and their outcomes. So let's get rolling. I worked this same problem earlier using uh, quote unquote formulas, but now what I want to do is I'm going to work it using a probability matrix. The number one rule for a probability matrix is you need three pieces of information. I need two outside boxes, which are my OR probabilities, and I need one inside box. The inside box either needs to be given to me or I need to be given enough information to be able to calculate the value that goes into it. So let's go through real quick and I'm just going to identify what I've been given. I've been given the fact that 43% of Americans expect to save money next year. I'm also given the information that 45% plan to reduce debt. The key is, is that what I am also given is that of those who expect to save more money next year, not everyone, just the ones who expect to save, that's our 43%, isn't it? Of this 43%, 81% plan, plan to reduce debt. Well, that means they plan to save and reduce which is a both box, which is an interior box. And so even though I wasn't given yes, yes, I was given the ability to calculate it. So what is the probability that they're going to save money? 43% given. What's the probability that they're going to reduce debt next year? 45% given. What's the probability that they're going to be that they're going to do both, not given, but easy to calculate because it says of those who expect to save more money next year. So of the 43%, 81% of those plan to reduce debt. So what I know is it's 81% of the 43% means I multiply, which gives me 0.5. 3483. Remember what I know about my matrix is that I need two two outsides and an inside. Outside, outside, and this is save yes, reduce yes, which means this is my yes yes or both box. So, let me go grab a matrix and I'll be right back. All right. Um, what I have done is I've simply set up my probability matrix. The one thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my yes, yes is always right here. I have one characteristic and the other plotted on the two sides. And I also know that all probabilities must equal one, which means these two have to add up to one. These two have to add up to one, and everything inside of here has to add up to one. So, let me take a look and see what this looks like. So, go back to our problem, and it says, what is the probability that they save? 43%. There's save. There's yes. Because it doesn't have anything with it, because it's just by itself, it goes right here. Same thing with reduce. Here's reduce. Here's yes. So I know that my yes reducers are going to go right down here because it doesn't have anything with it, does it? And the only thing that goes inside of the matrix, actually inside of the box, are ones that are have some of this and some of this. So we can always think of the outside as an OR, and we can always think of the outside as an AND. 
All right. So what is the probability that they save? We already said it was 0 0.43. I also told you that this box and this box have to equal 1. So 1 minus 0.43 will give me my value here. And I know that 1 minus 0.43 is equal to 0.54. So this side is done. Now let's look at our reducers. Reduce yes is 45%. We said the reduce yes came down here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put right here, I'm going to put my 0 0.45. I know that if nothing else, this box plus this box has to equal 1. So 1 minus 0.45 is going to give me my value here, which is 0 0.55. So now my whole outside is filled in. And remember, the insides are all ands. And all I need is one of them. And I calculated this one right here. So this is save yes, reduce yes. Here's yes, here's yes, where those two intersect is what we refer to as the yes, yes box. And so all I need to do is drop this 0.3483 into that box right there, and then I can calculate everything else. So here I'm going to put my 0.3483. Oops, got to make my box fit. There we go. That looks better. The other thing that you know is that this plus this has to equal this. So now what I have is I have 0 0.43, this number here. So I subtract this from this, and it gives me this box right here. What else do I know? I know that this plus this has to equal this. So I take 0.45 minus that 0.3483, and now I will have filled in this box, this box, and this box. What else do I know? I know that this plus this has to equal this. So I've just filled in this one. I'm going to subtract this box from this number. It's going to give me this one right here. So let me show you the math. All right, so I filled in my numbers. And in case you don't believe me, if you take 0.3483, add them together, you'll come up with this. You take these two and add them together, you'll come up with this. The other thing that you know is that if you add these two, it will give you 0.45. You add these two, it will give you 0.55. Last but not least, what do you know? You know that if you add all of the numbers inside the box, you're going to come up with 1. So, now I'm going to begin to answer all kinds of wacky questions about these savers reducers. So the first question asks me, what's the probability that this person, this individual person we select, expects to save more money next year and plans to reduce debt next year? Well, that means that we're looking for save yes, reduce yes. So I'm going to go back to my box and I'm going to say reduce yes, save yes. I know that that probability is 0.3483 because yes, save, yes, reduce is the yes, yes box. All right, now I'm going to ask you the question of what's the probability that they expect to neither save nor reduce. Well, neither is a no and nor is a no. So I'm going to look for no savers, no reducers, and I want to know where do those two intersect. 
no save, no reduce, probability 0.4383. So my no no box is the same as my neither nor. My yes yes box is the same thing as my both. All right, here comes a new question. What's the probability that this person expects to save more money next year? So that's a yes, isn't it? So I'm looking here at my yes savers. All right. I want my yes savers. But they do not plan to reduce debt next year. So let's take a look. So I want my no reducers. And so what I'm looking for is save yes, reduce no. Look at this one. Didn't I circle this one for both yes and no? So the probability that they do not expect that they expect to save more money, yes, and not replant plan to reduce debt, it's a tongue twister, is 0 0.0. 817. One of the things that you can also um, remind yourself about is that this box is a yes, no box, and this other box here is a yes, no box. So what I like to, to tell uh, my students in class is that, excuse me, is that this box right here is both. This box is neither. These two boxes are one but not the other. They're a, the combination of a no and a yes. So if you can remind yourself that in looking at a probability matrix, once it's been constructed, what you know is that this box will always be both, this box will always be neither, and these two will be one but not the other only thing you have to be certain is to always put your yes, yes box right up here on the corner. So now I can, I can literally solve everything. So both, n both, neither, one but not the other, one but not the other. Now I'm going to ask you, what's the probability that this person we select expects to save more money next year or plans to reduce debt? Well, we already know that these boxes in here are all what we refer to as AND boxes, right? Because they have a no and a yes. They're made up of two different dimensions. So what that means is that the OR boxes, either OR, are these outside boxes, right? Because either they save or they don't. Either they reduce or they don't. So as soon as it says, what's the probability they expect to save more money next year or plan to reduce debt, what you know is you're going to have to use one of these, at least one of these outside boxes. So since I'm looking for my OR, what's the probability they expect to save more money? Save, yes, and I'm going to go to the outside because it's an OR. So I know that the probability of saving, yes, is 0.43, same thing I came up with up here, right? OR reduce debt, so that's going to be reduce debt is going to be yes. Reduce debt, my 0.45, which is right here. So let's grab these guys, right? Down here I've got probability of save is 0.45. I mean, um, probability of 
reduce is 0.45. So that 0.45 is simply this, this right here plus this. And I also want to know what's the probability that they save. And so that's going to be these guys right here. And what I know is that this 0.43% is made up of this number plus this number. So look at what we've done. We've made a fatal probability error. We have double dipped. Look what I did when I um, look at what I did when I collected my reduce yes and save yes. Did I count anything twice? I sure did. That point three four eight three is included in our forty three percent, but it's also included in our forty five percent. So we're going back to that fundamental rule of probability that when events are not mutually exclusive, meaning there's no overlap, and because we know there are some people who both save and reduce, we know that there's some people who do both, we have to subtract out our quote-unquote double dips. So when I look at this and I see, wow, I included that 0.3483 in my reducers and in my savers when I come down here to my formula what I know is the probability of save or reduce is the probability of save plus the probability of reduce minus those ones that I counted twice that I double dipped with and I have to take them out because I can't count them twice. So what that gives me is it gives me the probability of save or reduce is 0.45 plus 0.43 minus the ones I counted twice, which is 0.5317. All right, one last one. What if I asked you the probability that the person expects to save more money next year or plans to reduce debt, but not both, but not both? I've got two ways that I can do it. I could simply take my probability of saving plus my probability of reducing minus this box twice because remember it's included here and here the yes yes box is the same thing as both so I could simply take 0.45 plus 0.43 subtract this out two times but isn't there an easier way to do it I think there is didn't we say earlier that this box was one but not the other? And this box was one but not the other? I could simply add those two. Because what you'll notice is if I add these two right here, it completely ignores that, doesn't it? So if I want but not both, I simply take the diagonal boxes. I simply take the diagonal boxes and add them together. And what I now know is that the probability of save or reduce but not both is simply equal to my one but not the other box plus the one but, oops, hit the wrong key. The one, but not the other box. And so when I add those two together, I get the probability that it's one, 
but not the other of 0 0.1834, whoops, 4, or roughly about 18.34%. So I'm going to summarize real quick and then let you guys go. So in summary, what we've learned, or hopefully I've helped you guys learn, is that in a probability matrix, everything sums to 1. And that if you construct it this way, this box will always be your both, this box will always be your neither. These two boxes will be your one, but not the other. Everything that falls inside of a matrix, everything that falls inside here is going to be what we consider to be an and probability because it is made up of a yes and a no. The other thing, hopefully, that I've been able to help you all with is to know that these boxes that are out here are OR boxes because it's either yes or no. So when you're looking at the outside boxes of your matrix, what we are always able to say is everything in here ha is a function of a yes and a no and a yes and a no, but the probabilities that we insert out here are always going to be my ors because they're going to be yes or no. Everything in here adds up to one. This one plus this one adds up to one. This one and this one adds up to one. All right, guys. Hope this helped. Have an awesome day.